Hey guys, just doing a little video here in my new office, which I've got to say is thank you to Camtasia. Okay, now this expert system, the basic problem which prompted me to write the program was that every business has got expert knowledge tied up in the heads of its key personnel. Okay, so and what happens when they become ill or they're off work for whatever reason? That knowledge is uh, not available to the rest of the staff or the customers. So I thought, what if there was an affordable way, an affordable system that would let them capture this knowledge and have it instantly available and affordable being the key term? Well, now there is. So it's a complete ready to sell app, which means that it's just ready to go. All I would say is you, just, you can start selling it today. Just need to change the name on it um empty the knowledge base files and recompile and and away it, it is a sellable a saleable product let's go and have a look at the demo now yeah okay so we logged on here we've logged on as a general user there are two other access levels there's the edit knowledge base uh, who can see a bit more options uh, a few more options and there's a system admin so the general user would normally go on, just click start a session. This actually defaults to open up. And here they've got the list of the main symptoms or problems or issues, depending on what sort of database. What we'll do is we'll follow through faintness and faint, fainting, because this is on the PDF, which you can download from the uh, website page. And that shows you how the, the flow of the, 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 the questions is set out. So we'll say, yep, yeah, the problem is that. The first question comes up, I'll say uh, no to it. And what I'm, what I'm looking for is to trigger an emergency condition because obviously it branches depending on which way you go. So I'll say, yes, I've got some of these things here. Uh, no, they have not disappeared. Okay, so what's happened here now? It, it's gone through to the emergency condition. Call your doctor now. The session is immediately ended. And you fill out here a lot more information, obviously, which is saying it's a stroke, but what to do immediately, etc., etc. Um, the immediate action could be anything because the knowledge base is separate from the inference engine. So if this was, say, a, an expert system on a particular printing machine, and you a certain oil level on a certain cylinder and run low then possibly the emergency condition would be uh, you know stop the machine now yeah so we'll just finish the session let's start again let's do a, a more normal one so uh no we're not feeling any of those um i haven't got heart disease well let's say yes to that one okay again it's it's gone triggered that the condition so we start start again let's say no 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 so yes to that one yes to that one yes to that one um this is a bit unreal obviously to say yes to all these conditions but no 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 now, what, what has come up with, I said yes to uh, three conditions there. One was um, the pregnancy, feeling that, a low blood pressure, and a postural hypertension. These best matches, in this case, there was only one question for each one. If, say, this one had had three questions relating to it, and we'll see that when we get to the setup of the knowledge knowledge base, then that would have had three hits and that would have been at the top anyway because that's the most likely one um, even to appear in a best match though all the conditions have to be met in this case again there's only one one condition or one question so uh, as it explains there and again anywhere the user can press f1 they come up with a help file which uh, explains the situation and these help files are supplied to you in format of help and manual projects. So you can tweak them and edit them yourself. 
and if you were logged on as the knowledge base editor uh, you would just see a different help file so at this point the user or a knowledge base editor can say right let's have a look at the outcome of this the last session I did and what what happened it came up was the feeling of faintness no I said no no these were emergency conditions. no no I said yes to that one I had been sitting down for a while I said yes to uh, pregnancy yes to high blood pressure and so on and view would just make it easier to read them because obviously some of the questions and answers could be a lot uh, longer when you set up the knowledge base you've got complete control of which way you want to go with it so for example and if you've got the PDF there you'll see that if we start this one here uh, let's click that and we say it was affiliate by a spinning sensation say yes okay what is now immediately decided because you set it up in the knowledge base is that this is now a more appropriate symptom would be giddiness so we're going away now and I'll just end this one here so what is now is jump to that one there because uh, that's how you set it up in the uh, in the knowledge base it's also possible at any point to to skip questions um, jump around a bit so for example let me bring let me show a screenshot of page two uh, as you can see there's quite a convoluted branching of questions and the that's all that's all handled in the knowledge base so I think probably you, your best thing now is to download the actual working demo itself from uh, my website and have a play around with it get back to me if you've got any questions uh, in the PDF that comes with it there's login details for a knowledge base editor so I suggest you, you log on as the editor as well and you can see how the how, how all these different things are set up